yeah, I don't know how else to like talk about this. this is such a weird and difficult topic for me to discuss. Finally, gonna get this one done. Hello, Familia. We are back, I am back. And this is gonna be sort of a special short video, mainly from just me. I wanna talk to everybody about um, where we've been, why we haven't been vlogging for a while, why you haven't seen any new uploads from us. So here it goes. So I have been struggling a little bit with how to share something that is so personal to me. I think it's only helpful to share what I've been going through over the past several weeks, I would say. I'll just kind of get straight to it. Um, I was recently diagnosed with depression. It blew me away. It honestly kind of, it was very unexpected for me. It wasn't something that I would have ever imagined that I, I was feeling or that I would be feeling at any point in my life. I have an amazing, incredible, beautiful life. I don't feel like I'm, I'm giving off a vibe of, of somebody that you would imagine um, could be depressed. There, there is just so much in my life for me to be grateful for. But I think that just kind of goes to show that it's something that can happen to just about anybody at any given time, at any given point in their life. Yeah, I don't know how else to like talk about this. this is such a weird and difficult topic for me to discuss but i feel like it's incredibly important because um the month of may is coming up it's actually starting tomorrow and may is mental health awareness month so having gone through this and knowing the anxiety issues that i already deal with on a regular basis um i think it's really important to acknowledge it and to share it with everyone it's my belief that this is actually something that I've had in me for a very long time. It's something that I've probably never chosen to acknowledge. It's only now starting to recently come up and I really think that is, um, a, a, it's brought on by the fact that I've had so much more free time um, to reflect on my life. I haven't been like super crazy busy with a million tasks to do working all day, taking care of a family, um, because I, I, you know, we, we did this move and we gave ourselves more time. I kind of had to learn about a lot of new things about myself and sort of come to terms with it. And I guess I wasn't happy. Kind of coming into all of that, I was having really massive mood swings. Um, there was a lot of like crying for no real apparent reason. Brian and I just couldn't figure out what was going on. And speaking of Brian, I want to give him such a massive shout out and so much credit. He has been so unbelievably patient with me over the last few months, few weeks. Even when I tried to blame everything on him and said it was all his fault that I was feeling this way, um, he just really talked me through it. He is my biggest supporter, my biggest cheerleader, and sometimes I don't even realize it. And I really, really, truly appreciate him for everything that he's done um, to help me. The kids have been so amazing and wonderful, um, thoughtful about me and my feelings. And then we have our family that's been such an incredible support um, and then you guys i have this huge youtube family to uh, support me and i appreciate each and every one of you so much so that's why i wanted to come out and sort of share a little bit about what i've been going through and put it out there on a video and really apologize i feel so terrible that i haven't been we haven't been vlogging as much we've we filmed here and there, but there have been little blow ups or things that come up and happen and it's made it difficult for us to continue filming, but we do have stuff coming up. I want to say that there were some vlogs that we did actually uh, manage to get filmed before I had my, my little breakdown, my realization. Um, so you'll see those coming up 
Kaysen has been killing it with his Instagram. Anybody who has followed him or seen um, his Instagram, it has just been doing so amazing. Alrighty guys, I found exactly what I was looking for. Quite quite. So if you've never had quite quite before, what it is is hard boiled quail egg that's been deep fried. Oh, it smells so good. Mmm. Mmm. The batter isn't too crispy. It's very nice, soft to chew through. I really love the hard boiled egg inside there. It's just so perfect. If you like hard boiled eggs, why not try this? It's quail egg. He's a gift. He is absolutely incredible. Bunso has made me laugh more times than I can imagine. So I just, my family has been awesome throughout all of this. If you want something done, you gotta do it yourself. Casey, what do you do for your living? Rowan, there's a car right there. No, they isn't. I am seeing a therapist. As I go through the journey, I do hope that I can share more information for anybody who might want to know feel free to message me directly on instagram or on facebook i think something else that's really important and definitely worth acknowledging is that there are a lot of people out in the world who are probably experiencing similar things as me um, or have experienced similar things as me um, in terms of the mental health issues and the depression and anxiety and they might not have the same access to resources that I do. So I'm very fortunate to have um, access to resources. I've been able to seek out the help of a therapist, but it is going to be my personal mission to make sure that I am also looking for, searching for other resources for all of you guys. So for the entire month of May, um, as we are posting vlogs, I will try to make it a point to bring up something related to mental health awareness and a resource that someone can go to whether it's here in the Philippines or in the US um, those are where you know our two biggest audiences are and I want to try and share whatever resources I can find with all of you so that you can utilize those resources if you find yourself having similar feelings of anxiety depression or any other mental health conditions there's still so much that I want to do with this channel with this vlog, I want to do other sub channels within this channel for you all. Uh, Kaysen wants to have his own channel. I want to start helping to fund different charities related to mental health, animals, so much. There's still so much that we can do. There's still so much that we're able to do and I am going to fight as hard as I can and I'm gonna make sure that I accomplish all of these dreams and goals that my family and I have set out for ourselves. I did hide a lot of this from a lot of people, from my closest family, from my closest friends, um, probably for a long time. I hid it from myself. I wasn't truly honest with myself and what I was going through. I think there were times where I would look back and I would hear stories about people who were battling depression or had some mental health conditions and you look at it and you see oh they had everything they were so happy and in reality you you really don't know so for me it's just so important to make sure that we treat everybody in the world with as much kindness as we possibly can we show each other grace whenever we can we say prayers for each other as often as we can Gosh, this is kind of a weird video for me, and I'm really sorry if it, if it feels totally off. It's not our style at all. I'm so not used to not having the boys around me, having Brian here standing in front of the camera. Definitely out of my comfort zone, but hopefully we'll see more of this uh, in the future. I'll continue to share as much as I can, as much as I'm comfortable with. Um, do keep in mind that these are private and personal things that we're dealing with as a family and as an individual. Um, so I, I might not be able to share everything, but I will share as much as I can with all of you. Keep watching. Thank you so much for all of your patience. Mental health matters. So taking a break made a huge difference for me and for my family. And I, again, appreciate each and every one of you for giving us that grace and giving us that time. We are back. Keep watching. Stay subscribed. Salamat. Ningat till next time.